We are in Ukichinin. I don't know how you said that, but I really did like it. And of course, I am here with Baba Chef Michael, and we are going to be making a very, very delicious seafood dish this morning. Salbona, Chef Michael. Are you well? I'm good, thank you. Did you like that greeting? Yeah. I think we'll incorporate a little Zulu every time we cook together. Absolutely. <laughs> Now we are cooking with the theme of under the sea and we're making a smoked fish but a homemade smoked fish yes. this morning. That's very nice because I've never made my own smoked fish before. Yeah. So I think it's going to be pretty pretty interesting what you're going to be showing us. Well, there are a couple of ways of doing it. This is my fish kettle from home. Okay. And you can you can cook a piece of fish in here, uh, poach it with water and nice. carrot and onion and celery and bay leaves and peppercorns. This isn't and something then, that most of us have in no, our homes though, hey? No, it's not. It's not. But then you can then you can pull the liquid off, mm -hmm. and then you can take some you take a couple of those little briquettes, yeah. and just heat them up on a on a gas flame. Put them in the one corner, and then sprinkle some wood shavings over the mm -hmm. top. Put the lid on, and just for about ten minutes or so, let the steam away, and you can just lightly smoke your cooked piece of fish. Lovely. Okay. But now we're going to take an uncooked piece of fish, and <clears throat> we're going to make a little a little foil base for our pan Very nice. and what we've done I'll show you in this in this other pan I hope we've got our overhead camera working it does I'm sure it does we've got a little platform in there oh. onto which we put in the fish and this is the the smoke that's already <laughs> coming off I've been inhaling this this whole so, time Finally, I know, I know. <laughs> so it's it's quite it's quite easy to do it's just a little bit of of the wood shavings at the bottom. These wood yeah. shavings are made from French oak and usually come from the coopers, the chap mm. who makes the chaps who make the, the wine barrels. Okay. And we put some tea. Now something that I found quite interesting is I like when we make things at home, but why would we, you know, be interested in making our own smoked uh, fish as opposed to buying it? Well I think because you want to add your own flavours yeah. um, and also it's it's a much it's a much sort of softer way of doing mm. it. This is the this is the sort of smoked snook that we're all used to yes, yes. buying. This is this has been painted with a with a sort of smoky um, kind of liquid and gives it that colour as well. Okay. So home smoked is is much much softer. So right. So now we've got our our smoking going here. Mm -hmm. So what we now do is we there. simply put our piece of fish in. And smoke away. Put the lid on. Be sure to leave your doors and your windows <laughs> open in your kitchen. And, and smoke <laughs> away. We usually do this outside. But there we go. And you just leave for about 15 minutes or so. It's beautifully cooked, Wonderful. soft, moist, and that lovely sort of smoky smokiness on the outside. There we go. Well, if you would like the recipe on how to make your own home make homemade smoked fish, all you have to do is SMS the word SMOKE to 33728. We'll give you exactly how you need to make this. But when we come back after the break, myself and Chef Michael are going to be making a very delicious smoky fish kedgeri, and you're going to tell us exactly what that is. Yep. We'll be right back after the break. By partnering with the WWF, we found goodness in sustainable fishing practices. Pick and pay. Always there for you. It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back to Expresso here on SABC3, your feel good breakfast show. Now we are back in our kitchen. Before the break, we learned how to make a very, very delicious smoked snook. And now we're going to be incorporating that in a smoky snook kedgeri. And of course, Chef Michael is going to be showing us exactly what we need in order to make this very delicious recipe. Good. Well, I think the first thing we're going to do is to make the rice. Yes. Now, one of these interesting things about kedgeri, here we get some garlic and some ginger. For anyone who doesn't know what that is, what exactly is it? It's an, it, it's an, it's an Indian dish. Yeah. And um, it's, it was, became very popular in England in Victorian times. And in fact, what happened was that the, the people who were returning from India, and remember they all came around to the Cape, yeah, yeah. The Cape of Good Hope, yes. um, returning to India, uh, returning from India, took these recipes home with them. Mustard seed. Lovely. And some cumin seed. I love that we're making such spicy recipes today with, yeah. the, with the seafood. And of course, they didn't have smoked snook in England, so they would have used white fish. Yeah. Or on special occasions, maybe prawns or something like okay. that. Right, so now you can get the lovely aromas of the mm -hmm. spice coming through there. We'll just add our curry powder. Just one spoon there. Of course, the thing is that they would have 
They would have used saffron in, in India to, um, yeah. to add a bit of color as well. Okay. There we go, nice. Nice. Familiar burkhap mm -hmm. smell of, of curry. Don't we just love it here Absolutely. in the Cape? Here we've got some basmati rice. Okay. By far my most favorite. I know. Rice and I so easy to cook. So we'll just put in there some salt and some pepper. Talking about favorites, if you have a favorite seafood dish, why don't you let us know on our Facebook page exactly what it is. Um, as you just heard, you know, Chef Michael likes his basmati rice. What kind of seafood is your favorite though? Good, so now we put this here, and then <laughs> just quietly it's going to. You're so what? You're working so hard. You missed the fact that I asked you what's your favorite seafood. Oh, I thought you were talking. To, I thought you were talking to our friends. I out am there. talking to them, but to you. As our well. favorite, my favorite seafood. Um, I, I, it has to be crayfish. Ooh, good one. It has to be crayfish and poached and cold with homemade mayonnaise and chunks of bread and salad. The my best. Tummy rumbles as we speak. Nice glass of rosé. All right. So the the rice just cooks away happily, mm -hmm. and eventually it gets to look like this. Oh, this is a gorgeous smell. Wow. It's almost so, um, a little um, like biryani. Yeah. But you know, I think, I was saying to you earlier, I think most of these sort of rice-based dishes have some common ancestor yeah. way back somewhere. Mm, I love this smell. And here we've got some, some spinach. Yeah. We'll just tear Can some I help? spinach. Yes, do. We'll just tear some spinach there. leaves in there, leave the Yummy. stalks out if we can. And and what will happen here, of course, is that the the spinach will just wilt with the heat of the mm. of the heat of the rice. Going to add a lovely enough. color to that. Yeah. And then we can add our our flaked oh. smoked snook. The main ingredient. Absolutely. Now, as I said, you can use any kind of fish here. You can, and it doesn't have to be smoked either. You could mm. use prawns. Um, you could use king clip and any sort of sassy, it really is quite a versatile sassy dish, right? friendly, yeah, fish. Right, go. you can pop the tomatoes in. Pop the tomatoes. And, and are we going to be popping in our? No, no, the eggs will the eggs will put garnishing? in. We'll put in at the end, yeah. So here we go. So we can let's let's put that chopped coriander in. Delicious, yum yum. So well, there you've got it. I, mean, I that's, love it. That's essentially the dish. And now you just want the whole thing to heat through. Mm. And then you dish it onto a plate like that, and then you garnish it with, with some lovely hard-boiled eggs. That looks beautiful. And quite often, in, certainly in India, um, the, a, a, um, a kedgeri like this would come with, with very, very well-fried onion, yeah. um, onion rings, so they're dark and all sweet and crunchy. And there'll be some flaked almonds on top. These could be just raw or oh, toasted. Beautiful. And then a little bit of coriander just to add that nice sort of smoky, that dusty. Looks absolutely amazing. Dusty oh. smell on the one side. Well, if you would like our our recipe this morning for our smoky snook kedgeri, all you have to do is SMS the word fresh and send that to 33728. We'll send you your pick and pay shopping list and the link to the recipe. But before I tell you what comes with that, why don't you take one more look at how we made this? Saute onions, garlic and ginger. Add curry leaves, cumin and mustard and allow to pop. Add rice, then stir fry for a minute. Add curry powder and water, then simmer. Cover and leave to stand. Fluff rice, then stir in tomatoes, spinach and snook. Garnish with eggs, coriander and nuts. That keyword once again is fresh, SMS it to 33728 and we'll send you your pick and pay shopping list and the link to the recipe. But we're going to go one step further this morning. When you have SMS the word fresh, you stand a chance to win a six month subscription to Pick and Pay's Fresh Living magazine. Isn't that absolutely awesome? Not only will you find this delicious recipe, but a ton of other oh, lip smackingly oh, delicious yes. recipes in there, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you so much, Such Chef Michael, pleasure. for spoiling us once again with a very lovely meal. Stunning. Lovely. Love Take having care. you here. <laughs> Over to you. the boys. I'm not sharing. Sorry. <laughs> we found goodness in Goed Gedacht Olive Oil and all the good they do for the community. Pick and pay. Always there for you.